lining up for today's job. I do um, composite solid oil today. Uh, it's massive. You can't see it there. It's really wide, really tall. Big fan light on, on top of it. Uh, so we're all loaded up now. The jump it van, shoot off the job. Hopefully, the customer will let us uh, do a bit of filming and uh, we can share what uh, we get up to today. We've been installing um, composite solid oil today. Um, Amphitite grey outside, uh, white inside. We have no, uh, no door to take out other than this uh, temporary door that the customer's been using. <laughs> Big chunky temporary door. <laughs> so the customer's, um, customer's got some cavity claws as far as we're going to put some cavity claws in. Uh, get that blocked off before they, we put the door in. Our new door is actually going to be coming, coming on this brick section here. Uh, get the cavity closes in first. Oh, the customer will be happy to get rid of that thing. I'll show you the door. It's a solid or composite door. Uh, this is the Edinburgh. Like I say, all lampsite grey outside, gold furniture. Uh, they've gone for the Victorian, Victorian glass. Should be quite nice. It's really interesting to see what it looks like next to uh, next to a timber door. We've got rid of that uh, old uh, temporary timber door now. Uh, we've got some. We put some insulation in the cavity, and um, we've uh, customers also just dropped off some uh, cavity trays for us just to block the, uh, the cavities up. So we've got a cavity. Have a cavity tray in now there. Closer, should I say, cavity closer. Uh, we've got a sill down level. Uh, that's just been formed down, packed up level. So we're good to, good to go now and get the uh, get the door in. Got the door in. It fits. <laughs> we've uh, fixed the hinge side. We always fix the hinge side first on, on doors. Get that plumb level and, and tray on that side. And then you can swing the door then and line the door up uh, on the, uh, the coil side. Let's get one in top now, Jordan. Put one. Let's get one in there, in that joint. So we're pre-drilling again so we don't um, smash up frame up with uh, SDS. Uh, it's a bit cold today as well, so we don't want to be cracking anything. So Jordan's just pre-drilling -dr pre that. Um, so what we're doing now before we put, so we've got the this side plumb level. Uh, we've got the bottom where we want it to be, uh, so that the the bottom sill is all um, in line. Um, so we've got that bottom bit fixed in. Um, we just need to line that through now, Jordan. So we're going to line that. Uh, we're going to swing it off. Jordan, we'll line that through in a minute. So we swing the door to that now. Um, we'll get to get the door to be to touch the bottom here. If you just close that too, you're in. Yeah, there, that's fine. So what we want is this little gap at the bottom here. We want that to be the same all the way up there. So that'll give us a nice true um, plumb door then. Um, obviously, if you imagine, if that's out, let's have a look, I'm trying to show you. So at the moment there, I've got, see that little black? Well, pull, pull the uh, door to to the frame. We've got a two, three mil gap, and if you follow it all the way down to the bottom, the bottom is probably five mil gap at the bottom there. So what we need to do now is pull that frame out at the top and get that gap all the way, all the, the same, all the way down, and that'll make sure the door uh, closes uh, true. I'll do that now. I'll give you another. So the door is all fixed in now, um, formed. We formed all around the edges, the form's set, dry, uh, so we're going to uh, clean that and we're going to put some trims around the edge of this uh, door uh, for two reasons. Main reason, next door has had the like a, a three inch trim detail put all the way around the edge of the door, uh, so customer wanted us to uh, match that detail on this side. Um, and the second reason is the opening is quite, it's, it's not quite uh, square and level. Uh, so the top 
So if you see the top uh, of our frame, there's a nice tight fit at the top. And then it level, uh, our frame's obviously been put in level. So you can see how it gets a lot bigger at the bottom here. So that, that center uh, brick pillar is, is quite out. So we've, uh, we've measured it tight to the top. And then obviously we've been left with this gap at the bottom. Uh, so we're gonna put the uh, two inch trim outside out. I've got to show you what that looks like. So you're gonna put a flat trim to the face, a bit like that. And then it's got like a two inch, three inch uh, tri trim detail to like next door, match next door. So we'll get on with that. This is all done. Really happy with that, looks really good. We're gonna shoot off now, on to the next one. Thanks for watching.